Okay. Okay. Um, yeah, so, yeah, basically what I want to talk about... Oh, I've probably not prepared as well as I should either, but... Um, the recently ended series, obviously, was what I was going to talk about, the, of The Walking Dead. Um, the, the level of violence... Well, yeah, the, about the violence. I'll, I'll sort of discuss that a bit, because um, that seemed to be something that a lot of people had opinions about. Yeah. Uh, how you felt about the finale of the series... Um, what you yeah. thought of the scavengers, you know, the new group of people. Oh, the, um, oh, I forgot what they're called now. Well, I just called them the scavengers, oh. but yeah, they might have a name. The ones um, that live in the garbage the, not place. Not the saviors. No, 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 the, um, the, the ones with that strange, you know, those really strange people. Yeah, The ones okay. that were supposed yeah. to be allies of them and then turned on them. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, the ones that live yeah, in that yeah, garbage yeah, yeah. dump thing or whatever. Yeah. Okay. Um, oh, and also there's one other thing. Um, nothing to do with the, particularly with the current series or the, the most recent series, is that they seem to have dropped the idea of infection from zombies. Um, they seem to have forgotten yeah, about that. Because yeah, remember, okay. they had that whole thing about cutting uh, somebody's arm or leg off or whatever. And, and they seem pretty blasé about just getting covered in zombie blood and stuff. That's not important anyway, that's an aside. <laughs> yeah, okay. Um, okay, I'll I'll just do a, a quick... If we have a quick breather, and then, I'll, and then I'll start up. Cool. Hi there, I'm talking with Chris now about the most recent series of The Walking Dead. Hi, Chris. Hey, how you doing? Pretty good, buddy. Pretty good. Good to see you. Um, right now, I, I, quite a few people have kind of gone off the Walking Dead recently. It seems uh, certainly amongst my group of friends, and um, yeah. I, one of the reasons I suspect is that is the type the the, the the type and level of violence has kind of changed and become quite intense. Uh, how did you feel about that? What was your opinions on that? Um. I, well, I mean, from the outset of the series, I guess it was kind of, um, it was pretty, uh, you know, the first episode was pretty full on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and, yeah, it was quite graphic, but I uh, I, th- I think, personally, I think that's as bad as it got. There were a few other bits and pieces, but I thought it was, I didn't think it was overly kind of, um other than that first episode, I didn't think there was anything overly um, what they'd done before, really. Yeah. You know, with the governor. I think the fact that it was human on human probably affected a lot of people rather than human on zombie. You know, you would yeah. already sort of dehumanise the, the walkers, as it were. But then, you know, there, there'd been scenes in in the pre, in previous series with the governor and stuff where, you know, he gets stabbed in the eye with a piece of glass. And, yeah, and there's some pretty and nasty there, stuff. And there's a whole fight scene where he's he's fighting with a piece of glass protruding from his head. Um, and there, there, were, there didn't seem to be issues with that. But then, you know, that first episode was pretty brutal, I guess. Yeah, I mean, it was it was hard, and it was characters that we sort of come to know and care about and stuff. So there was a sort of emotional level to it as well as just the, the you know, the violence uh, as it was. And 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 I think yeah, there there was that emotional um, level to it. And but I think it was what was, I think it was necessary for the character. Yeah, I think because... it fits quite well. I, I don't think I think that's the thing. I think one of the things the producer said. I can't remember exactly what they were saying about it now. I should have gone back and checked that before I did this video. Um, but one of the things they were talking about was, uh, you know, their take on the violence, particularly in the first episode, uh, was that it was yes, it was really hard, really, as you say, f- really full on. But yeah. th- they felt that it had to be established that this guy was way worse than anything else that had happened before he, yeah, this was yeah. how basically this is how crazy the guy was and this is the kind of things he would do and then you know t- you know turn turn around and appear to be perfectly normal the next second and stuff you know so and i think they did it really well i think i think um jeffrey uh jeffrey dean i forgot his surname uh I Morgan, it, Morgan, I shouldn't have forgot it. Jeffrey Dean Morgan. Yeah. Um, I think Jeffrey Dean Morgan has been absolutely brilliant at it. He, he gets that flipping from, you know, the lunatic that did what he did in the first episode to to the sort of 
apparently, you know, to, to, to being so weird that he actually seems to think that he's doing something right as well. You know, it's it's like he's got his own internal code screwed up as it is. But he, you know, well, um, I I my, I kind of I don't know. I was a little bit disappointed with the whole Negan character personally. I mean, I'm not saying he didn't um, he didn't play the character well. I think he did, but um, I I was, you know, they kind of introduced him in that first episode where he he was pretty kind of brutal and um, unforgiving and stuff. Yeah. Um, but then I kind of felt like, that, you know, it, it kind of it was too much too soon. I know, that, like, I know that kind of contradicts what I just said about having to kind of, um, you know, introduce the character in a in a um, you know, sell the character, you know, yeah, uh, in a dramatic no intended, way, yeah. but sell the character off the bat kind of thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um. um but then I, I just kind of felt like after that, it was just, you know, he, he was, um, I don't know, I think it lost something after lost that. Lost a bit like of impact. Could... Again, not a pun. Yeah. Yeah. And, and I, I just thought, you know, after the first episode, he was just another bad guy in The Walking Dead. It was kind of... In um, some ways, I think there was flashes yeah. of it, like when he does what he does to the Doctor, for example. You know why they, yeah, that, they lose yeah, their doctor? The because, yeah, no, 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 no. Do you not remember the uh, fate of the first doctor? The, so, so why they kidnapped the other one? Oh well, oh, when, when he threw him into the yeah, room. yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That, that was that's pretty brutal. Yeah. yeah, and I mean, he did. You know, when he when he cut the the, the guy's guts open from you know um, in Alexandria as well. You know, there's there's a few bits of that that's still. So but I mean, nothing nothing was quite as impactful. Again, not a pun, as the uh, the first episode. Um, oh, sorry, the the mid series uh, restart. Um, yeah. Yeah, but I th- I think it's a violent show anyway, and I think yeah. people were maybe just I I think you know maybe I'm wrong, but I think people were because it was human on human. I think that was what was triggering a lot of people to use that. Yeah, awful word. And and I, th- I think it was just kind of you know, it was yeah, it was it was the kind of emotional element of it was human on human, and it was but, people um, we knew, as and well. also it was quite graphic as well. They they you know, it, people were kind of saying, was it necessary to have Glenn kind of there with his eye kind of well, half out of the head? thing is about that particular bit is that the the whole Glenn part was what happens in the comic book in the graphic novel, you know. Yeah. And that's actually literally lifted from the graphic novel, that whole right, bit. Okay. So, and that's why in the TV series, that's why we, they killed two people in the first one, because it was a, a a bit of a red herring for people that had already read the graphic novel to make them think they changed who was getting killed. There was a lot of different people died during the first half of the series, you know, last year. Um, yeah. That didn't in the novel, you know, in the graphic novel, and it kind of made it. Look like they were going a different way with something, but they didn't. They, they, they end, you know, halfway through that episode, they just they just turn it right back and go with where it went. So it, yeah, it yeah. sort of resolved a bit of um, a bit of fan moaning about changing things, uh, but they, you know they did it for a reason. Um, but yeah. I think they did quite a good job because they brought it brought um, well Rosita and uh, uh, Sasha. Sasha, yeah, <laughs> sorry, yeah, yeah. I'm an expert at the show, honestly. I know all about it. Um, it brought Rosita and Sasha together in a way as well, which was quite good. So I, I think yeah. it was, you know, I think it worked quite well as a, you know, who they who they picked. Without they, they changed a little bit of the story, but they still stuck to what they, you know, what the intended um, narrative was, and who, you know, what was meant to happen and what have you. Because yeah, Glenn's yeah. been with us, you know. I mean, I, I, I for, at first, I mean, it sounds it makes him a bit callous, but at first, I felt a bit like it was a little bit of a cop out that one of the newer characters was who he picked. You know, um, in terms of Abraham. In terms of picking or, Abraham first, yeah, and but then obviously yeah. the, he still, you know, it still goes on and he gets to the, you know, gets to Glenn anyway. But um, you know, and I, I sort of, I thought that uh, I, yeah, all all through the, the the break between the set, you know, halfway half season break, I thought, yeah, it's Abraham, especially when he says that. What was it? The line he says something about taking it like a boss or taking it like a. Yeah, but I think, and I thought, well, who would stand up to him, but but not but not do something stupid to jeopardise the others, you know? And, it, and it, Abraham just 
it just screamed Abraham to me the whole time, you know. Well, I, I mean, I, I have to say, I think um, I think Abraham was the last person on my mind because it was kind oh, of. Right. Yeah, um, I think, you know, that it was obviously it wasn't going to be Rick, but there's there's always a little part of you just thinking, oh, what if it is Rick? But um, it was, I think, mainly I was because I knew that um, from friends who've read the graphic novels and stuff, I knew that it was probably going to be Glenn because that's what happens in the graphic novel, novels yeah. and, and, and people kind of knew about that. But I thought um, I thought it was going to be Daryl. Um, yeah, that was a, that was a possibility, but it looked it looked right from the start of that whole sequence that he did want to do something different with Daryl, which is what you know what, definitely what happened, because I think he wanted to break him. I'm surprised that. Um, it, yeah, I mean, yeah, okay. Well, I'm going to go. I was going to start going to other subjects, but that's to do with the violence. I think we've kind of covered it mostly. Yeah. Um, and uh, I was going to say about the finale, but let's let's. Just to slip something else in between the two subjects first. Actually, something I mentioned to you before we started was the scavengers, uh, uh, people yeah, from okay. the sort of um, junkyard uh, people. And very strange. Very. It was like they had their own style and everything. It's as if they were some Mad Max. Oh. You know, it was a very weird, weird thing. It was like almost like a cult. I thought. Yeah, I, I mean, I don't. I guess I don't. I don't really have too much to say about those guys, other than. Um, it, I mean, they, they were quite cool and stuff. Um, yeah, I, yeah, I they didn't were, really. Yeah. I couldn't. I couldn't really understand why they talked like they do. That that was the one thing I was going to say. Is that sorry, my microphone's dripping. <laughs> Excuse me. Happens to us all. Um, <laughs> the um, yeah, the way that particularly the the, the 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 leader of them speaks with that sort of weird. It's like well, what's happened to them? They, you know, it's not like they've came from another country or landed from space or something. They're only. They're yeah, only humans it's... that have been in the same, you know, world as them for for the past yeah, for however many years. You know, it's what a weird, what a weird yeah, choice. It was, <laughs> it was just really kind of primitive language, wasn't it? Yeah, as if they'd been, you know. And yeah, you're, you're just kind of thinking, uh, and I don't know if it had kind of crossed anybody else's mind, but you're just sort of thinking, you know, did, um, they didn't grow up in that world. Yeah, exactly. You know, yeah, yeah. It was as if it was as if they'd been, you know, like that. While they were, you know, as you say, growing up from from when they were kids or something, and it's like yeah. they never went, you know, they never developed any further from a certain point, and it's it's very strange. Um, but they yeah, obviously, I, but then they, mean, were, they maybe, were obviously sorry. When you go, maybe in the next series they'll kind of give them a little bit of backstory because they seem maybe. to be they, they seem to be pretty good at doing like using whole episodes to do stuff like that. But, yeah, yeah, they 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 can certainly know how to fill out the space, don't they? Yeah, without oh, necessarily yeah. giving you any any moving forward. Um, yeah, so maybe they will. Maybe they will get, cover them a bit more and show something. I don't know. Um, but you know the the way they speak and how sophisticated they are and they're like dealing with wreck and dealing with Negan and everything. You know, it just doesn't fit together for me at all. Yeah, it's, it's, it's all very, it's yeah, very, it's un, very jarring how that works, you know. And I didn't see why they need to, to add another faction because they already had a place to go for the weapons with the river people, you know, that all female yeah, yeah. Uh, enclave, you know. That uh, so I don't see why. I mean, maybe there's some in the novel that we, you know, the graphic novel we don't know about or whatever, and, and it's, it's, you know, it's going to change. But yeah, I, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't very satisfied with them. They, they just didn't fit in. And I, I, I mean, you know they can write what they want, but at the same time they've got you know I feel that like a story has to be sort of internally consistent, and I don't think they were because they were so duplicitous and and um, sophisticated. But at the same time they you know they talk like they're primitives that have been left behind since yeah, they were yeah. before they were you know five or something. You know, very yeah. odd, very odd. Okay, well that that's, yeah, that was a bit of an aside anyway, to be honest. But um, we will talk about one of them. The other thing, just something that popped into my head while we're talking about that, about them filling out episodes with things. Um, I think that, I don't think they waste a lot of time. There's, there's a lot of series I've watched where episodes you've just thought, why was that even there? You know, but they do tend to stretch things a bit. I think I would say. Yeah. yeah. It's not as bad well, as things like maybe Lost, where they were just backpedaling and filling in all sorts of rubbish. <laughs> the the um. But I do, I do kind of feel like that they're starting to move. They're starting to do. I mean, I I, I can't comment on Lost because I never watched it. Okay. 
Um, I didn't watch but, all of uh, that. I stopped at a certain point because I got fed up with it. Yeah. <laughs> but I do, I do kind of feel like that they are padding a lot of time. There is a bit um, more of that. I, I felt, I, I, particularly in this well, particularly in this series, in this second half of this the, this current series, the one the half that just went. I thought that they could have got to the. Well, this has taken me to, to sort of forward to my satisfaction with the with the finale, which was my, my my next question. I feel like they could have got to that point a lot quicker, you know. And there wasn't an awful lot. I feel like they could have done. Yeah, they they could have got where they were in fewer episodes. So you know, I kind of agree with you on that point. That there, there, there seemed to be a bit of pad. I don't think they were badly made episodes. I don't think they were bad, um, badly you know badly done, badly acted or anything. But they were kind of like. Once you look back at it, but you think, well, why was that then? Why was that? Then? You know, you you had to fill in some stuff. You know, you had to, they had to tell us. You know, there's, there's, I mean, the stuff with the river people. You know, the river people on cliff thing. That was great. I liked all of that. That was good. That had story in it. It, had, it all felt organic. But the whole yeah. thing with the with the scavenger people just, yeah. Well, I just, um, I, I think I think this series kind of infuriated me a little bit. Um, I, I find that there was there was kind of um, there was a lot of times where I, I you know I was literally sh- shouting at the television <laughs> right. you know like in in I don't know which episode it was but it was pretty early on in the series um, when you know it's kind of they had so many opportunities to knock off Negan exactly that was that was definitely a point I wanted to get to yeah as as why wouldn't they just cut off the head and see what happened see take their chances because yeah, once they, you realize they had, a whole, they had a whole inventory of weapons with yep, they like, just gave them up with, for no yeah yeah with the savior stood at the gates asking to come in and they could have just gone to the inventory got a bunch of guns and killed them all yep i mean they, they managed it fine in the previous series when they blew up they kind of blew up a whole load of them, didn't they? Yeah, I, I think that's one thing they didn't. They did play well in the first episode, or between the last episode of before the break and the first episode, they played well. That, that, that he broke Rick, you know, that was what the, the whole point of it was, and, and he did. But then, yeah. why the rest of them all just went along with him quite so easily, and and why the opportunity, as you say, Megan was just an open target so many times. Yeah, yeah. You know, and it, and to me, the whole point of Negan is is not that he's got a big army so much so much as he is like all powerful over them. You know, yeah. They, they well, all they're all, that, all in, in fear of him. Yeah, and that's kind of one of the things that I was um I was going to say earlier on was like you know because we were kind of talking about the the brutal violence and stuff in the first episode, but I think what I mean. And, and and that was a good way to introduce him and things. But I think what they need what they needed to do after that was make him kind of um, a bit kind of more psychologically, uh, you know, make it. I don't know how to explain it. So like he'd already broken Rick, like you said, yeah, um, yeah. and he'd gotten into his head and stuff like that. And and they could have done a lot more with that rather than um, kind of maybe the over the top violence and stuff is. You know, show, show him kind of like weaning himself into people's minds and heads and stuff. And yeah, I mean, they I did a bit of that, but not as much as they could have, really, especially not with, as you say, with Rick. I mean, all he seemed to do with Rick was make him more and more angry after that. It was like he was undoing all the work he did by executing two, you know, two of his group in the, you know, and threatening his child and stuff. And it's, it's like he undid that by just pissing him off for no good reason, just yeah. lording it over him. And you know, it was, it was an odd. It was the, the again, and it wasn't done badly. And I think, as I say, Jeffrey Dean Morgan, I think played played the part brilliantly. I, st- I still think you know he did a really good job. But story wise, it's a bit yeah, you know, a bit weird. And I really think that they could have got maybe two thirds of the way through the series, they could have got to where they were because I genuinely, at the end of the the episode, I thought, well, wait a minute, that was the last one for the the series. That make me, oh, and it was like, you know, there was a whole episode. Between those and the other one, the, the one before that, uh, uh, you know, between the sort of, I think it was one, it might have been two, actually, between them sort of finally, you know, turning the, the corner with Rick and then setting up for it. Or no. Yeah, because they had that sort of setting up episode. And it just seemed like they really, uh, talking about padding it out, that was the point where I felt they really padded it out. Because some, the, some of the stuff with in Negan's, 
uh, compound with like how they treated Daryl and how they sort of tried to. I mean, again, it was all. It wasn't just violence for him. It was all psychological, and that was you know that would. You know, Negan was smart enough to know that just being violent with Daryl wouldn't really get him anywhere. But you know, treating him yeah. with that psychological torture was you know, which was also. But the thing is, uh, but I just I don't I think they could they could have done it so much better than that. You know, because it's kind of like um, I the, I don't know. They could I think they could have been a lot cleverer with it. I don't have any ideas, but <laughs> like <laughs> you know, I'm not I'm not a TV writer, but like they could have done it a lot. You feel um, that there was more there, really. yeah, yeah. I mean, I think I, I think you know, they... but by just kind of just locking Daryl in a room and playing him a uh, song repetitively is was just kind of a bit I don't know it's almost a bit lazy and it was it was just kind of like I uh, you know you could predict that Daryl was going to escape and he was going to come Oh yeah that yeah there was, there was a lot of, there was a lot that wasn't obvious you know it was obviously we weren't really going to get to him um I think that was that whole thing though that whole sub story was seemed to be more about his you know his guy than Daryl you know the guy with the, yeah. the scarred face. It seems even much more about what they could do with him. But again, yeah, they, they just they spent a lot of time over, going over the obvious parts of that. Yeah, whereas yeah. they could have used the, the, the same sort of torture techniques, but shown a bit more interplay between the characters. Um, yeah, and and actually, really kind of psychologically, like you know, the um, breaking him. You know, actually, really kind of breaking him down and. Yeah, and weakening him and stuff. And I know, like, you've only got like what um, ten episodes and stuff. But, yeah, like... but but they, as we've just as we've both said already, they did you know they did pad a bit, and you know there, there's yeah. a lot of space that they could have used for these things. I think one of the things, perhaps, just looking back on it, uh, particularly this second half of this series, um, was that they always seem to like to get a sort of sub story within an episode. They don't seem to, you know, they don't seem to want little. You know, but it's not an episodic thing. It's 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 it's, it's a long story. You know, so I don't think that, you know, that's not it's not like a lot of sci-fi shows where there's a monster of the week episode or whatever. You know, there's there's yeah. It, you know, there was no need for them to panic and rush some bits and then pad out other bits, which is what they seem to have done. Yeah, yeah. And I especially felt that with um, the, with, the, with the last episode, it was like it was a bit lackluster, really. Um, yeah, me too. Uh, I mean, I thought I thought the bit with Sasha, um, kind of. In the coffin and stuff, I thought that was that was a really good idea. Yeah, that was clever. And it was, and it was actually nice to kind of see a zombie, <laughs> you know, yeah, in, in the, the Walking Dead. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, yeah, I, I was kind of the same. Like, you know, there, there was a whole kind of um, there's a whole moment in that episode that could have been so intense and great, where you know he's about to kind of kill Carl or something. I mean, we all hate Carl. <laughs> But um, <laughs> you know, uh, but like that was a really tense moment, and they ruined it. Like, you know, because you sat there thinking, you know, uh, this could this could be a great moment, but then they do the whole cheesy kind of like the lion jumps in at the last minute and attacks. Yeah, I, I kind of I was I was half cheating that and half sort of despairing at it. You know, it's, we wanted that part that happened. The, the bit where the lion comes, a uh, tiger rather. The bit with the tiger yeah. comes in. We wanted that, but not there. Not yeah. I mean, it was it was a bit of a Deus Ex Machina, as you know, we've said about other things before. Uh, yeah, yeah. But, but it wasn't the best use sometimes... of that dramatic, yay moment, really. Yeah, but sometimes you kind of you almost um, the best thing for an episode is not to do what the audience wants. You exactly. Know? Yeah, do something unexpected, and uh, you know, or or take something and. Well, like they did with the first episode by taking out um, yeah. Abraham, and, uh, as you know, as opposed to anybody else. Anyway, we've um, and, 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 and talking about Abraham as well. The whole kind of those sequences with Abraham and Sasha in the last episode was just kind of like so unnecessary, um, and again, just padding. Yeah, it was. It made a bit more sense once you realised where she was in, in, in you know in the darkness but it was too much of it yeah it was it was as you say more padding um a little yeah. bit of that would have been okay but there was too much of it yeah i agree with that um mm -hmm. yeah and you know I, I i'm not saying they should have resolved it and got rid of negan you know very neatly on the last episode or whatever but i think they could have got to the point they're at about eight 
six, seven episodes in and give us a, given us a bit more um, preview of what what you know what what the next battle is going to be. You know, yeah, yeah. How they how are they going to resolve where they, where they where they are? And it just seemed like they, you know, I know it's I know they like a cliffhanger type episode uh, series end, but it wasn't. It didn't feel like there was that much. You know, it just seemed like everybody had a big fight and then they just went right. Okay, well, let's go off and wait it, to see what happens it next. It kind of felt like. A mid a mid series finale. Yes, definitely. It it, did, yeah, it didn't feel it didn't feel like the end of a series, like a big. Yeah, like finale. if they'd done that, if they'd done what they did at the mid season at the end instead, and yeah, then that yeah. had been, then come back and done, and that would the, the mid season one wasn't like you know, but as you know, I think a lot of it is not just it's not just about the story and and making a program and things. It's American TV and how it works influences the actual. Um, productions of things so much. Yeah, um, yeah. they've got such a, a a weird sensibility over there, and they're very. They seem to be very set in their ways, despite the fact that they're, you know, they're coming round to a different way of working. Um, you know, they've they've had a lot more great TV come out of America in the last few years. Yeah, um, definitely. Especially since they've had more um, digital channels and stuff, so you know, you're you're not so restricted that it's all network and they're trying to please everybody all the time. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Um. Yeah, I, I think. Yeah, I mean, it's ugh, a damp squib, really, is how I could describe it all. Um, yeah, I mean, um, <clears throat> here we've we've kind of we've almost drawn a line under it, really. Like, um, I don't know. Um, I, I've sort of uh, we've decided that we're not going to watch the next series, but um, yeah, I've heard a few people say that. It. Yeah. Yeah, they're just like mm, this is the point, you know. Where, as as they say, that that American phrase, "jump the shark," you know. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. And it, <sighs> I just, I just feel like um, they're, you know, with most series, most of the series they're going through, they're just cover, repeating and covering old ground. Yeah, know? I mean, there's um, not a lot of difference in an overall in an overall arc sort of way. Obviously, the details are different, but in the overall arc, it's not much different from uh, the governor, as you say. No. The governor, that was the name. And, of him, and, it? and actually, I, I felt. I actually felt the governor was a better enemy than Negan. Um, yeah, um, there, there was more reason for people to at least try and follow him because you know they had built a community. He wasn't just going around grabbing people and torturing them. You know? It's just yeah, very, yeah, very for, strange. For no reason. Yeah. And, and I, and I can, well, I say that I can understand why Negan was doing what he wanted to do because he wants to, he wants to be powerful and he wants to own everything and oh yeah yeah you know body. yeah we, yeah but being being in power by, by using fear is not you know you know that's not an inconsistent thing but the you know it's why so many people stick with them and you know don't turn you know uh, I, I think the i think what they were trying to get to with it and they had again they had time to do it and they didn't use it um, I think what they were trying to get to with it is, is that his power was was based on that fear, and that people would be, you know, they, there was little hints of it where one person would say something, the other one would sort of, you know, so that you know they, they didn't know who they could trust, sort of thing, who would turn against them, you yeah. know, as that sort of um, Nazi Germany, in the, you know, during the, during the war, sort of thing, you know, or pre-war rather, you know, is that sort of who can you trust, you know, we we don't we don't want this. Everybody knows this is wrong, but. Who's going to turn? You know, it's, it just takes one person to sort of turn against you, and you know, you're the one in the furnace, or with the iron on your face, or your head bashed in, or whatever. You know, so I, yeah, I think sure. the, the 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 fear of what what could have happened was there, and they played that out, and again, maybe a bit gratuitously in places uh, after the first series, first episode of the mm. part of the series. But the um, I think that yeah, again, the psychology of it all would have, could have been explored way more. Just like you said, I, with the psychology of Brick yeah, and Daryl, you know. I, I think so. I, I, I think um, I think Negan could have been uh, a far, far more intelligent character. Yeah. Again. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Because again, just like we were talking about with the scavengers, is that they, they've made this weird, primitive type character, but they, they're so you know they're sophisticated enough to be dupli. dupli, dupli, dupli Easy for you to say, duplicitous. Duplicitous. I can't say it now anymore. Uh, easy for them to turn on the uh, the others. <laughs> you know, they, yeah. they had that. You know, they had the wherewithal to be making plans and and sub plans and double dealing. And, you know, but somehow they're they're some sort of weird primitives as well. Ah, and it was the same. Yeah, as you say, they could have made him 
they could have showed more of the yeah I mean just what you said earlier it's more they could have showed a lot more of the, the psychological thing and how he keeps it going we know that he rules by fear and some of the more violent things that happen like with the doctor and 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 the, you know the punishment of of pe- that people get of the you know the iron thing it's all yeah that 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 shows us how he keeps the fear in but but it doesn't explain why it built up and how he managed to control you know to to build to hold that over so many people at once yeah yeah yeah. Uh, yeah totally and you know he's he's kind of like he's kind of got all these wives and stuff like that and yeah. and, and things and it's like well why, why did people let that happen yeah you know, this, yeah like, i mean it's the, it was the same thing yeah it was, it's, there was no there was no strong indication of that at all as to why yeah. you know but i mean as i say i think that the, the, you know the, the most obvious reason that they did they did touch on it a bit but they didn't play it hard enough you know i, um, I don't think was that yeah who who can you trust who can you turn to and not find out that they're going to turn on you anyway and you know yeah. so that that i think that's what they were aiming for but they never really they never really built it I mean, in very well they they kind of did a, that a little bit in the last couple of episodes with that guy with a scarred face and stuff. Yeah, yeah, where, yeah. But that you know, again, though, they were. Yeah, they, they could have done so much more with him as well. Yeah, like what? I mean, what what would have actually been better than kind of like um, a lot of the padding that they had is if he'd gone to Rick's group a lot sooner Earlier, in the yep. series and and kind of and, and played them for a lot longer. Yeah, got the trust a bit just, more than, rather than just whooshing out or whatever it was that happened when you know because we still don't know either what his motives were and that again that that was they didn't really play that part of the story at all yeah, yeah they, he yeah. just he just he well, was back on their side with no apparent you know with no explanation of what his inner thing was because he was it looked like he was you know breaking and and becoming totally against negan because of what had happened yeah. to him and his wife and stuff but then he, they don't really explain why he turned back you know there was no yeah, I think the other the, the good one out that's this is this is, I will give them this. Um, I, God, I'm terrible at forgetting the name again. But the guy that got kidnapped, the guy with the mullet. Um. Oh, oh my God, it's gone now. Um, I know he's really Sebastian, Josh. but it's not. No, no. Um, but it's Josh. Josh, somebody the, the, the actor. Um, yeah. Josh McDermott. Great, I've remembered the actor, but not the character. Um. Keep thinking Bill Hicks for some reason. Yeah, as well. I know what you're saying. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So he, him, because he was he was well used. The, you know his his um, capture, and then sort of submission fitted his character yeah. perfectly. It was like he just wants to try and protect himself at all costs because he's a coward. Um, yeah. And at the same time, dealing with technical problems uh, is ex- you know as sorry I'm. I've just written notice I should have put the lights on before I started here. <laughs> it's like a horror <laughs> show in the corner. Um, yeah, but dealing with technical problems um, and overcoming sort of practical obstacles is is what he does best, and it's and it's what he yeah. was, what keeps him from thinking about everything else. And he just yeah, he yeah. just got into that groove so you know perfectly so quickly, you know, and and, and that was really good. That was really well done by the actor and. That was a good bit of storytelling that that fitted in. That that you know when when he refu- when he refused to leave when he had the chance, mm. I didn't you know I didn't go Ooh. you know it was yeah I can see I can see what's happened to him. It's not he's not had to be brainwashed like some of the others would have to be to get there. He's just yeah, yeah. you know cut, saving his own skin and and, and, um, and, and yeah that, that, that that's something they have done well because uh, you know because I I guess I kind of I looked at that a lot and thought. Well, this is just going to be a. Uh, they're just going to rehash the whole thing they did with Daryl, where they all kind of turn on them and they go back to the group again. And they, and they haven't done that. They, yeah, you know, yeah. He's, kind of, um, he's he's sort of, he's sort of as I say, not not broken like like some other people have been in the show. You know, they didn't have to they didn't have to do much. They just had yeah. to sort of, you know, he's he's just getting what he can. Probably very immoral because he knows that other people are suffering for it. Uh, both in the group yeah. and out with the, the group, but at but the end of bit, the day, he's it, a bit of a sociopath, character. though, isn't he? And stuff, and he's a bit kind of like, um, you know, uh, other people's feelings don't really affect him and stuff. So it's like, you know, he's he, it's quite easy for him to just kind of go to another, um, another group and and yeah, and he just, just sort of, it's like he can just sort of flick a switch <laughs> in his head almost. Yeah, 
you know, he knows how to keep himself alive and what what he can do to do that. And you know, that's right. Okay, this is the situation. I'm going to do that. You know, it's it's very. I understand that that sort of personality because I'm a, I'm a technical person myself, and yeah. I, I really quite understand the mindset quite. So yeah, I quite 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 um quite identify with him in some ways. You know, I don't and, think and, I would be and, quite so much a coward and, to be I, honest. But I think his character is actually the only character that's been pretty consistent as well. I mean, because that's how. That's how he was introduced into the series. That, yeah, like, he's, know, he it lied his way crime. into protection. Yeah, yeah, and and he, you know his whole story was that he had that he he had the cure for the the outbreak and stuff, and that, and that he could lead them to it. And then it kind of comes out that he actually didn't. He just said that so that he could stay alive, so that they wouldn't kill him, kind of thing. Yeah, um, and and I think that that's been pretty consistent with him. Um, he's the only character who's had a consistent sort of. Yeah, he's the only one that hasn't around. flopped around. I would say that that's that's true. And again, that's probably why it worked so well. The, how things ended up with him being, you know, kidnapped by, by Negan and taken in. Uh, you know, he was smart enough to know that. You know, that's not the right thing to do or anything. You know, his his his, his morals were not. <laughs> Uh, we're very flexible on this, but but you know his self preservation came to the top as it, as it has done all the way through. So yeah, you're exactly Absolutely, right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Okay, well, I think we've kind of uh, ripped it to shreds. Yeah, ripped it to shreds. <laughs> I mean, I will probably watch the next series, but um, it has to resolve some things and and go somewhere for me, uh, or else I'm just going to lose interest as well. And they are talking about. Oh, excuse me. They are talking about at the moment that they they think they know what's going to happen right up to series ten, so that was just series seven that just finished, and I'm like, okay, well if you know that much, don't pad it out and put some story in there, you know? Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, uh, they, they, I've heard them saying things like, you know, this could run for another twenty series or whatever. Um, but I just, you know, I hope it doesn't. No, like, either. Yeah, I like things to end well. They're well. They're good. I don't like things getting cut short, but I like things to sort of have a, a you know, again, going back to the Lost comparison, it was like they, they didn't know it was going to be such a big hit and they just hadn't thought half of it through. Yeah, And yeah. what they wanted to do, I mean, I think, they, I don't know if this was ever what they said exactly, but I get, I get the impression that it was somewhere along the lines of they had a story arc, you know, overall arc for it, and it yeah. would have fitted into like three series or whatever. But it was a big mm. hit, so they see, again back to why you know what why things get interfered with so much on American television. You know, yeah, yeah. like if some it's, it's different over here, um, they'll commission something for a set amount of episodes, and no matter how yeah. well it does, I mean, some there's some great stuff been out there and stuff that's done really well, and it just hasn't come back, or you know, they, they you know, it's, it's, they've not um, milked it or whatever. And yeah. I think that in America, no matter what style of show it is. The executives still look at their things the same way. Like they, they still look at everything as a episode of the week type thing. And well, can we keep going with this, just to make more advertising yeah. money? Um, you know, basically sod the story, sod the people in it. Let's just you know. And I think that's why so many people seem, uh, you know, they have some sort of fed up towards the end of being in shows and why they, you know, the, the, the ludicrous amounts of money they have to give them to stay on them and stuff like that. You know. It's yeah. Just, yeah. And. Um... It it's, it just feels like the network and the, the world of t you know the machine of the world of TV uh, production has interfered far too much now you know it's got too far yeah well you know but like I think the first time I really uh, just kind of moved, uh, briefly talking about something other than The Walking Dead I think the, the first time I became really became aware of that was um, things like Buffy the Vampire Slayer where. I think it was kind of series five where they killed her off and then you know then, then you find out there's going to be another series and she comes back to life again and it's <laughs> kind of like oh come on you have to draw the line somewhere you yeah know, I never actually you know, watched that very much to be honest I saw the odd episode but I never never watched it really um, I don't know why because it, it does seem right up my alley and I'm certainly a big fan of Josh Whedon, Josh Whedon. Um, but yeah, but, um, I, I know what but you mean. Just, though. just kind of going back to the Walking Dead, I've I've even heard that um, you know the next series there's there's a chance that um, uh, Glynn's going to appear in future episodes and stuff. Not you know obviously then he's not going to be alive, but like they're going to they're they're going to film kind of 
Well, they did um, have a they did have a couple of little flash well not flashback things but sort of fantasy things in it, didn't it? They had those fantasy dinner table moments but, with Glenn yeah. and um, Abraham. I think they're they're going to have more of him in the next series, and it's Why? kind of like you know you you have to move, like you've killed him off. You have to move on, and I think um, I I just think that that if they're going to continue it on for. Um, X number of series, they pro. I think they need to start making major replacements in the team. Yeah, they, I mean that that's, that's happened cast. all along, hasn't it? They have. It's been a rolling cast, and things have changed, and and it's moved. I think it's probably the best way to put it. Yeah, because they've had yeah. the sort of segments where they were in Atlanta, then they were uh, at the farm, and then they were at the prison. You know, and 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 it's it's made some. I think perhaps them trying to settle down has been. The, the sort of undoing of it really yeah really it's you know it's a bit like that whole kind of Ross and Rachel thing isn't it you know you wait you watch it for a whole load of series you know willing them to kind of get together the same with The Walking Dead they've been through they've been to so many different places and you want them to just be able to find their kind of sanctuary but now that they actually have it's a bit kind of like oh you know kind of yeah, thing yeah so they, they look at ways to jeopardise it instead um, but I think I think yeah. what they need to do to kind of keep it interesting is start replacing people. Like, uh, you know, I'd even go, go as far as to say, they need, uh, you know, at some point Rick's going to have to go, I think. Um, uh, you know, I know I know, it's pretty much been kind of centralised on Rick. And yeah, and again, that. it's back to this American TV show, he's the star thing. I don't think yeah. that will happen, you know. No. I really don't, and I think that's... It's, and it's, it's, it's a, a shame. It's, but... it's, Sorry, yeah, you... it's, a, it's a shame because they <laughs> they kind of tried to remedy it by having a spin off series, Fear of the Walking Dead. And I don't I've know not seen seen any of it now. But that start, that started off really well, and it was kind of a fresh idea. You know, it was kind of a group of people who were just experiencing the outbreak, so they were a bit green and they didn't know what to. They didn't know how to. They they were struggling to survive, and they didn't know how to survive. Because they were just normal people, and they didn't—they weren't like sheriffs with guns, and yeah, you know, they well, weren't experienced. And killers. also, they, yeah, they didn't have this. I mean, right, right now, whenever something happens, it's almost sort of, um, oh, what's the word? It's almost routine to them, you know. Yeah, yeah. And that doesn't fit because there's no way that you would let that. You know, some people would, and they they, they would get killed. But you know, the people that are meant to be the the, the uber survivors, the the really experienced people wouldn't be that blasé about it they would still be really careful they would you know that's what's kept them alive is, is being yeah. careful and, and following a sort of procedure when they you know when they empty a, uh, explore a building and things like that and a lot of that just seems to have gone by the wayside <laughs> you know yeah but uh, it's like but, they're taking away um, the if you'll pardon the uh, the phrase it's like they've taken the teeth away from the zombies a bit you know yeah but but um what i was gonna say was with with uh, Fear of the Walking Dead. So it kind of starts out where, you know, they're all really inexperienced and a bit green and stuff. But then, um, uh, and it was quite a unique idea. But then by the second series, they were just they were just another group in the same world, you know, and, right. and, and they were doing the same things as the Walking Dead. And it wasn't, you know, it was just it, it became really tedious because you're just seeing the same things that were happening in the Walking Dead, and yeah. Yeah, so it's just a, a different different group of people, same story. Sorry, I said just, just a different group of people, same story. Yeah, basically, yeah. They they kind of find a civilization, they ruin it, <laughs> <laughs> and then you know, then they kind of move on with their lives, and um, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so I uh, yeah, I, I suppose just to kind of, you know, just to kind of uh, wrap wrap that up, I guess I. Um, uh, there was a lot of things wrong with this series, um, and I think you know I think I think I'm a little bit bored of it. I think they've they've it's lost its way in terms of. Um, well, I just I just I just, I just think um, it's it's very predictable, and they're just yeah they're just padding and they're doing a lot of padding and. Yeah, I, I think I think I tend to agree. Uh, like I say, I, I'm willing. To get a bit, a bit, a bit more of a chance uh, when it comes up, but the, the part of that is that I don't watch things episodically. I wait until 
like you know there's a half you know a, a series ready to watch and things because I've got no patience for that week to week thing, which probably yeah. makes it even worse for me, <laughs> you know, because then you're sort of going from one to the other. You're, you're following the story, but you're you're getting the the um, you know you're you're noticing the padding bits and things, and you're not getting a time to come down from that because you're going oh that episode was nothing happened, you know, and then you're yeah. you know you're everything. Like it was the same way when I watched um, just to, not to mention another show, but the uh, Battlestar Galactica, the new version of Battlestar Galactica. Again, I think oh, yeah. they, I think they went a wee bit too long with that, you know, and I think they could have they could yeah. have trimmed that and and made a much better. Uh, better show uh, or ending to the show anyway let's i digress you're right we need to wrap this up well thanks very much for giving me some time tonight yeah no and, problem and uh i will speak to you again about something else soon no doubt i guess we'll be back as a group again at some point indeed uh, hang on i'm just going to stop the recording now <laughs>